Dear friends, welcome to part 8 of Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how for loop works. So, let's get started. For the first, I want to open the IntelliJ IDE. So please wait until the IntelliJ idea gets ready and we are waiting until its components uh, gets loading. Now um, it's ready. Uh, in the previous lesson, uh, we have created a hello world class. So, and also we are work are work with the switch condition and f condition, f else condition. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can work with f condition. So, for loop uh, is a loop uh, which you can use easily by the uh, syntax of for. Like as this, first you write the for keyword, then open a parenthesis and then close the parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, first as the initialization. Uh, initialization uh, the second is the condition and the third one is uh, increasing then uh, you open a bracket open a bracket Close inside the bracket uh, that is the area of our form. So I want to copy this, then paste it. And instead of initialization, you can write integer i, for example, uh, it started from zero. Uh, until i is less than 10 until i is less than 10 uh, don't forget here is uh, semicolon okay it is pretty well and here you increment your variable i okay then here you can print 
tell uh, everything you want for example number i here in the first loop i is zero so i will print it uh, i is zero and then i check uh, check out uh, if i is less than 10 because i is zero and here i can be less than 10 so i plus plus uh, so uh, then i will print it after that i will uh, increment uh, okay first time uh, this will print zero after that uh, i will increment uh, it uh, uh, will get wa uh, value of one and then again will check uh, that i is less than 10 or not if yes then again will print that uh, which it is uh, in this phase one because uh, it incremented again this uh, i will increment uh, from one to two then uh, it will check out to is less than 10 again that will print it so this will continue until i uh, gets equal to 10 when i gets value 10 uh, 10 is not less than 10 and loop will stop okay as you can see here is the loop also you can put this i from there here okay this also work nicely okay and no problem but if you does not have uh, this condition what will happen uh, this means uh, as I think will uh, we have an inf infinite loop as you can see I should stop it from here okay as you can see it doesn't have condition i is zero and here is not any condition and this will goes unlimited okay thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye